Hey, good evening, everyone. How are you doing? So thought I'd give you a quick update um, where things are. I can tell you we are now getting the first shock wave. Um, and let's see, there we go. So just to give you an idea of what you're seeing here, this is the plasma density and this is the velocity. So obviously, if you have a higher, deeper color here in the red, that's, as you can see right over here, it's getting up there. <laughs> I mean, that's kilometers per second. So you're talking, you know, quick, <laughs> talking very quick. So the density, we're getting up here into the black. So that tells me that that's that ejecta that we uh, saw. And this is to let you know the date. And the same thing with the velocity. So we're coming in. The peak plasma. Now they're showing over here about what we're looking at right now. So this is pretty accurate, is what's happening. Let's see what they're saying. Now, do you see the second shock wave coming in? Now, pay attention down here because the density of the speed really picks up. Boom. And then there you go. Now, I find this one really interesting. Look what's coming behind this one. Now, it's not as dense nor as fast, but there's yet a third shock wave coming through. And then that one will be hitting <clears throat> on the 11th. All right. I want to show you another one. So this gives us the magnetic perturbations that are taking place. This was updated at 215 UTC. As you can see, this is North America. We'll run the, uh, the maps. So obviously when you start getting up in here into the three to four hundreds and above, you're gonna get radio interruptions. Uh, this is also where you can get uh, electrical interruptions. I mean, our magneto spas is taking a hit. Now you can see, and just follow. So they're saying, and I'm looking at this, the biggest part of his is gonna hit, according to these models, tomorrow. All right, let's look over here. And just follow the time code. So you folks over in Europe right now, you're getting the brunt of this. So I'm pretty sure if any of you in the morning when you wake up, if you're noticing anything, please send a um, email, a message. Let me know. Post it here. It'd be great. All right. Look at the sustain model here. And right up here, oh, that looks to me, what would you say? That's... Minnesota, Canada, Alaska, you're going to get spanked. Uh, this is tomorrow, so overnight. Just be aware, folks. What really gets me concerned is you folks over in Europe. You guys are really 
taking the brunt of this. It just goes on. It's a prolonged event for you folks. And it doesn't abate. Here you can get it from the poles, the polar regions. Again, you see what I mean right here for Europe, Finland, Norway, you guys up around the Arctic Circle, and of course down here in Antarctica. You know, I, I'm just going to say this, you know, I don't like how that looks for you folks over there in Europe. That's, I mean, it, it indeed, it is a prolonged event for you folks. That's not good. Uh, let's see. The last one we can take a look at here. Um, they're telling us, let me get back over to the home page here. So right now, severe, severe, and this is just updated again in, all the way into tomorrow. And then the ninth, and then they're showing minor geomagnetic storms all the way to the tent. All right, so that means we're gonna have some radial blackouts. Let's go down here and look at the KP index. So the KP index, just to let you know, we're here at an eight. They'll be updating this here in an hour or so. When we start getting above eight and we start reaching the upper limits of nine, that's when you really get severe magnetic uh, disruptions. And as I said, you folks over in Europe, just, man, I mean, if you, it, the health effects on this are, are going to be noticeable as well. So anyway, there you go. I will leave the links. Uh, as you can see, we are in a severe uh, G4. Uh, let's hope that it stays just at a G4. We don't want it to see it um, get above that because that's when things begin to get um, very interesting. In fact, as you can see, you can go right down here and you can let them pull up on the electrical power. So. We don't want to get up into G5. That's bad. <laughs> I will leave the links. There you go. Uh, it's coming in. I guess the question is, are we taking the densest shock wave right now? This is, as I told you, you can go back and watch my videos. I told you with that flare that just continued to erupt a long duration event like that, it does not surprise me to see the density uh, wave at all. Not at all. It's exactly what I was in fact expecting. It was up, as you saw, at the very top end of the chart. So yeah. All right, everyone, be kind to one another and we will talk real soon.